I'm going to show you guys my complete chainsaw system where with one hand you can easily rack and unrack the saw from either side of your body. All of the chainsaw lanyards on the market that I know about have slack and play in them, which makes a one-handed rack and unrack a little bit difficult. That is why I fabricated slash invented a hook for the saw, which makes uh, racking and unracking much easier. So I want to give you guys an overview of how I built this. The first thing I did was cut a rectangle out of steel sheet metal. The rectangle is the appropriate length to fit this inner plastic cover and the appropriate width. The next thing I did was bend a U-shape out of steel rod and I also bent a 90 degree angle at each end of the U. The next thing was I welded the bent part of the U to the rectangle. Excuse my terrible welding. After that, I drilled a hole through each side of the steel and the inner plastic cover. Now I have a 194T and I have about a half inch of clearance behind this, so it was totally fine to drill through. Make sure you check your saw. Um, after that, I used the appropriate size rivet for the size hole I drilled to drill, or, sorry, rivet um, the rectangle into the saw. And it's held up for dozens and dozens of climbs with no issues and been a really convenient way to hang my saw. Your next step is to attach your lanyard to your saw. Because you have this fabricated piece here, which you will use to hang your saw, you do not need a ring on your lanyard. So you can either use one like this green one, which doesn't have a ring. You can cut this ring off, or you can leave it if you don't feel like it's in your way. A lot of guys like to go to the top handle for attaching their lanyard. I actually like to go to this stock D-ring that comes with the saw. Um, this is, uh, don't attach your lanyard to this. This is meant to hang directly on your buck hook or your carrot tool or whatever you use to hang your saw. Um, so again, I'm going to attach my lanyard to this D-ring here. Your next step is to attach your lanyard to your harness. I like to go to the rear center point of my harness so I can easily use the chainsaw on my left or right side. On my right side of my harness, I have a hook for my chainsaw. And on the left side of my harness, I also have a hook for my chainsaw. I usually store my saw on the right side of my saddle. If I want to make a one-handed cut with my right hand, I'm going to unhook it. Shut it off. And I'm going to rehook it all with my right hand. In this next clip, you're going to see me make a right handed snap cut, stabilize the branch with my left hand, rack my saw, and use two hands to manipulate the heavy branch out of my area and into the drop zone. Sometimes I have my saw on the left side of my saddle. I also have a chainsaw hook here. So if I want to make a cut with my left hand, it's the same process. Grab it. Shut it off. And rehook it. Yep. In this next clip, you're going to see me make a left-handed cut while I control the branch with my right hand, rack my saw, throw it into my drop zone.
it's super important to be able to draw your saw with one hand. Make your cut and easily put your saw back. There's no reaching across my body. There's no monkeying around. There's no clipping and unclipping things. It's very easy and it's very efficient. Um, it's also useful if you're cutting with, let's say I'm cutting with my left hand, to have my right hand to grab the branch, make my cut, I put my saw away while still controlling the branch. Then I can use two hands to throw it. That is a huge advantage and will save you a lot of unnecessary rigging or unsafe situations where you're reaching across your arms with the chainsaw.